Welcome to AHA! Hello, hello, a human among humans. I'm Michael Coran. Will Kurtz is going to be joining me from the control room, and we're going to have again old versus young. Well, I no, I don't know because, well, I don't know if I really consider myself young, um, but it's I guess it's all the it's all, in the spirit. I would also say that like. I believe in the energies you and I bring to this. Yes. I would say that you are young of spirit and young of heart, and I play the role of the uh, old crank. curmudgeon. Yes, right. Okay, so it is still old versus young. However, looks are deceiving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll let you settle in because it's raining out there quite a bit. Yes. You, you were soaked when you got in, so I'm. Yeah. I'm glad to see you're in. From the rain. Oh, it's very good. To, it's so good to see you. It's so good to see you too. Oh my! So, um, well, why do we put up one of the quotes? Do we want to put up the quote here? Okay, and you can you can scroll through if you want to. So, should we start with this one? Oh, let's start with this one. This is a very good way to begin. Okay. Do you want to read it or shall oh, I? Oh, I'd love you reading it. Okay. <clears throat> I honor the place in you in which the entire universe dwells. I honor the place in you which is of love, of truth, of light, and oh, of peace. Oh, my. I honor the place in you where, if you are in that place in you and I am in that place in me, there is only one of us. Whoa, I'm not sure of the ending. Now, we can, there's a way that we can come through that quote, right? We can bleed through. I, there we, oh no, I think you can do it there, yes, whatever you did. No, no, you did it. No, it's, it, they, there it's, it is. it's difficult. It's difficult because oh. there's not really a way to do oh. it unless I, uh, in, oh. unless we kind of hold it, hold it. But, um, oh, wow. but I like just kind of fading back and forth there. Oh, that's beautiful. So, so now I, I'm supposed to object to this quote, correct? Oh, no, you should be honest. You might even love it more than me. I uh, can object. Oh, but let's, not get, let's not get bound into roles. We let's want, not get bound into no, roles. No, I want you to... This is not the great fortune cookie show. This is truth. Uh-huh. We're trying to share with our audience beauty. Let me show you. Yep. Beauty. Beauty there. We'll take off the phone, I think. So what do you think of this? Of, of this. this? This quote. This of quote. this quote. So, um, I honor the place in you in which the entire universe dwells. I honor the place in you which is of love. Of, um, I don't know. I guess, is there, I don't know, such a place? Is that true? I don't know. Oh, that's a great answer. Is there a place in all of us in which the entire universe dwells? I think so. I mean, you are scientifically minded, yes? Sure, I'll take that, yeah. So we've got the... I mean, we're made out of sunlight, right? The, sun, the animals eat the sun and we eat the animals or plants. Yeah, that's what I learned from the Lion King, so... Yeah. <laughs> yes. So now, can I feel it now? Oh, I can. I can feel this. I feel it first in me. Uh -huh. I have a friend of mine who is, hates the word God, but he often wakes me up in the morning with the message, rise and shine and give God your glory, glory. Why does he hate the word God? It has so much baggage for him of wars fought. I see. Some being telling you what to do. Uh -huh. I wrote a haiku for him once. For my friend who hates the word, the G word, and the haiku was, has the 17 syllables, G, 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 God, G, G. He liked it. What about you and the word, what about you and God? What about me and God? Um... Well, I don't know. There's not really God in this quote, is there? It's not quite as interesting. And this is the word namaste, which is how certainly people in India often greet each other. Yeah. 
Sure. I mean, did you know the word goodbye? Goodbye means God be with you. Yeah, I, you I did that. that. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, Gadzooks. No, what does that mean? Well, you've heard the term Gadzooks, right? Yes, yes, for the longest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comic book term, yes. It, it used to be, you know, because you're not supposed to take the Lord's name in vain, right? Yes. So, like, people used to use the words God, the word God's wounds. Have you ever heard that? God's wounds? Yes, yes. Um, and that was in society at that time, um, it was kind of the worst swear word you could say. Right? God's, God's wounds. wounds. It was like the worst thing you could say. Wow. So, Gadzooks and Zounds are both bastardizations of the term God's wounds because people would say that, you know, well, which is people be, say, be nice. like, frick today. Yeah. Yeah. I, fr I had a fr uh, what does my beloved fiance never going to say? Um, freaking? Did they? I had a freaking day rather than the more powerful word. Right. Yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. It was something off of you said. We were talking about God. Yes. I was wondering what, if you believed. It's difficult. I mean, I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm agnostic, I think, in all things. Um, and certainly when it comes to spirituality uh, or, 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 you know, whether or not there's a God. I guess I feel like I don't believe in God just because the word God, I think, as ju as as usually defined um is you know something that i don't believe in i don't believe in the god of the christian bible or any other bible i don't believe that there's um someone with a long white robe and a white beard who's watching all of us and judging us uh and and, and you know decides when we die if we go to heaven or hell you know I, I don't believe in in that i think that's you know mythology that is about as believable to me as as zeus um However, I do believe that there is something out there that is meaningful and powerful and beyond the comprehension of us wow. humans. Wow. And I think using God as a shorthand for that. Yes. Um, and I think a lot of times when people use the word God, that's actually what they're doing, whether they're intentionally doing it or not. Yeah. Like God only knows, right? Because you know, <laughs> oh, stuff yeah. like that, right? From yeah. your lips to God's ears. It's, you know, people aren't necessarily conjuring up, you know, the God of Christian, I'll say mythology, um, or, you know, any other uh, religious belief. They're kind of this this concept of, I think George Carlin, who was uh, famously an atheist, had this thing of the giant electron, right? So it's not necessarily, so it, 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 it's the thing that is beyond our comprehension, the sort of cosmic, uh, universal, um, ubiquitous. Amen, brother. There. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, um, in traditional religions, yeah. they all agree with you. They all have their sophisticated scholars or believers, and they say it's beyond understanding. Anybody who thinks they've got it, you don't have it. It's even true for you and me. Okay. I mean, I'm looking at you today. Mm -hmm. You're different than you were to me two weeks ago. If I think I've got will, yeah. then I don't. If Only if you're in... in really profound ways, mysterious, beyond knowing. Hmm. Do I begin? And then your presentation of yourself, although I could always look at you differently than I did in the past. Oh, okay. So you, you know, we don't know each other. It's the more we know, the more we don't know about ourselves. Is that true? Life. Okay. I think so. Maybe. Oh, I love you, maybe. So in that sense, well, but still back to this, um, uh, is that place or that reality you were describing, mm -hmm. which is beyond understanding? Yes. But maybe I, I shouldn't put words in your mouth. Is it? Is it beautiful? 
Is it nourishing? Is it like the sun in some ways? But, you know, Plato said it's, there's something way beyond the sun. And in, in, in ast uh, astronomy, of course, there's a black hole in the middle of all most all galaxies. Mm -hmm. that, that you might know this, that radiates white light into the, into its uh, galaxy, really. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's nourishing, beautiful, powerful, probably energizing. Mm -hmm. Maybe if it's like, it's light, because light streams, light connects, loving to some degree, mm -hmm. maybe more than some degree. Uh, maybe gravity is even one... Christian mystics said even the rocks love, they love the earth, they're pulled. Mm -hmm. So um, if the rocks have it, we must have it in us, no? We must have this um, beyond, really beyond beauty, beyond good, beyond, um, maybe beyond loving. Uh, if it's beyond, it's also we're, we're probably made of it the way we're made of sun, no? Okay. And then the question is, and when we say namaste, mm -hmm. if we say this to each other, I think they say that somewhat, like a handshake, mm -hmm. somewhat simultaneously. Like, like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And whoa, I can feel, I can at least imagine that I feel what we have been talking about in us coming through us mm -hmm. and, and yourself any feeling of that no no okay <laughs> we just, just you, can, you can trust the show okay we can move on then if we uh, okay well, so that's what we understand well, at least we understand and will is young and the show was only half over let's go all the way to the end maybe there's a all the, all the way to the very end. Wait, I, I saw, oh. No, there's way more. There's way more. All, all the way to the end, okay. Yes. This Albert Einstein now, there quote? There should be more, is there? That's the oh, last I one. Did, oh, I didn't, it didn't get in? Okay. I wanted to do one, which we don't, I remember it. I might just tell it to you. Okay, great. Okay. Um, this is Rumi, who is the most read poet in America. Rumi is? Rumi is. More so than Dr. Seuss? Yep. Wow. I think that they include, I wonder if they included Dr. Seuss more so than Robert Frost. More so than Robert Frost? Yes, I wonder if they... Walt Whitman? Yes. More so than um, uh, even uh, Jay-Z, I guess. Uh, that's an interesting question, if they would include, you know, Dylan... Mm -hmm. he, he's a noble uh, noble laureate yeah. in literature yeah well this is the Rumi poem that is very popular it's, you might not have heard it, heard of it which is I hope you have not okay it's called The Guest House okay you have not heard of it yes no it doesn't ring a bell we no. have primal and experience which we're sharing with the audience you're hearing this for the first time yes I'll try not to be too dramatic okay 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 so it's called the guest house. Um, let's see if I can remember it. Um, this being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness. Welcome and entertain them all, even if they're a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house empty of all its furniture. Still, treat each guest honorably. She may be clearing you out for a new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice. Welcome, greet them, welcome. Greet them at the door, laughing and invite them in. 
Treat each guest honorably. For each, be grateful for whoever comes. For each has been sent as a guide from beyond. Um, very nice. By the end there, the metaphor felt a little strained. I'm not going to lie. Yes, we like this is what we <laughs> pay him big bucks for. Um, I'm impressed that you memorized that whole thing. Mm -hmm. No, it's a story, big time story of my life, mm -hmm. and only in my better moments. <laughs> I'd love to do that. Meet them, whatever comes. Yeah. Whatever feelings come. Meet them at the door, laughing. Wow! Here comes depression. Hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here comes meanness. Dark thought, here comes shame. Here's something I struggle with, right? Because I, what that poem's getting at, what you're getting at, and I think it's something that uh, I kind of try to uh, do in my life where you embrace, right? Because there are things that are going to be unpleasant. You're going to have pain. You're going to have sorrow of these things in your life. And if you embrace them and embrace them with a level of, of, of laughter or something else. Um, and I, I feel like a lot of times that type of philosophy or mentality or attitude, I feel, uh, uh, or, or something similar, similar sense I get a lot of times from like the Eastern philosophies and Buddhism and so forth and, and um, living your life, you know, without regret or trying to rid yourself of desire and and no, kind of, that this wasn't, but this wasn't that. Though. No, that no, no, no. But I'm trying to I'm trying yeah, to draw a, a, a no point one, of um, no one roll, sorry. Uh, 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 but yeah, it's a similar thing, I believe, which is you know, you know you're kind of embracing something uh, in a way that I find is maybe ultimately a little detached, right? Because there's this idea like it's just a ride, right? Life is just a ride, or, or it's just, a, you know, guest house. Um, in which you kind of are, I don't know, maybe viewing your life from a way that is, I, I think it's detached. I think that there's a little detachment there. And... Um, you know, I don't know what's so really that different between that approach and the approach that I think is unhealthy, which is kind of, you know, when a lot of people I think do this is sort of wrap yourself in sort of a translucent carapace of ironic detachment, right? Wow, is that beautiful? Did you catch those words? <laughs> Wrap yourself in the translucent carapace? Car is that a word? Yes, I, don't know. I think you mean cloak. It might be, right? <laughs> yeah. Wrap yourself in the translucent cloak. And what was it? Do you remember the end? Uh, uh, ironic detachment. With ironic de yes. Um, and that is, in some ways, disassociating you. Right. So if you're to kind of, it's almost like you're always, you know, playing this game where, 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 where you're not just experiencing the emotion or the experience or the emotional experience. You're bringing to it this sort of philosophy that's maybe additive or, or, or like... You know, because I can do that. I can be in a, pl in a place where I'm feeling something unpleasant. I'm feeling sorrowful. I'm mourning. And I make a decision to embrace that mourning, right? Yep. But welcome. I, welcome. Entertain them all. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yes, and yes. There's sort of... That gives you some sort of... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you know, domain over it, right? That gives you power, power, power over, it. over it, right? But what's different between that and then, you know, detachment, which, which is the, a close cousin to denialism, 
right? Because another great word, folks. Have you ever heard it? Denialism. You heard it first. You've heard of nihilism. This is denialism. <laughs> Are you saying that's not a real no, word? No, I don't think so, but it's a great. We're, when someone's on fire, they're coining new language for us. I think you can put ism at the end of everything, and it's a, a word. <laughs> yes, wordism. <laughs> You're a wordist. You're a wordist. You're a that's anti. A beautiful, that's a beautiful word too. Don't wordist me. Wow. You're anti. Yeah, but I keep going. You're anti-semantic. Okay. Whoa. This is. We're getting stuff here. <laughs> keep going though. You're you're saying that something extremely important. I'm try, and I don't think I'm really expressing myself all that well here because I'm. It's a it's a complex thought that I'm trying. I, I don't really know how to put into words, but I think that I'm getting kind of close to oh, what I, I think mean. you are. Is that there's a there's that the same thing of you know this idea that we're going to. Because it's almost like you're living outside of yourself. If you're saying, I'm going to embrace this morning, and you're like conscious of it, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's, it, it, it kind of feels less real in a way. Um, to, because you're not kind of in the moment. You're detaching yourself from the moment, and you're maybe intellectualizing. You're, no, I'm agreeing with that. But if, if there's morning, um, someone once said the, his, the story of love in our new century is the story of heartbreak. Um, most of us have been there. Yes, our heart. Yeah. And I think I have learned, I'm not saying this is true, to embrace what comes. It has something to teach me. Pain, sorrow, it's very different. Um, one Maharishi, when he was dying of cancer and screaming, and his student said, hey, I thought you said you can get beyond suffering. And he says, it's pain, and I'm screaming. Suffering would be not to want that pain to be there. So I'm just screaming out the pain. So, the, so he really was in it. Mm -hmm. But it's very helpful to me and others, whatever we're feeling, to say, hey, what's going on? My dear beloved beyond significant other says, as a mantra she's learned, why is this happening for me, mm -hmm. not to me? So we, we are reflective beings, especially someone like you, right? Yes, we are, yes. Very reflective. So that we, we, might, we ha both have the experience and we usually reflect upon it, yes? Yeah. And... Rumi is saying, instead of saying, I don't want, why am I, you know, I don't want this pain, I don't want this grief, I don't want this sorrow, I don't want this depression, this meanness, um, I am going, since it's here, I'm going to embrace it, since it's here, there's no denying yeah. it's here, we don't want to get into denialism, do we? No, but I don't, okay, this is going to be maybe a tangent that's a, a little long, but I mean, you lived through the 60s and 70s. Did you ever experiment with hallucinogens? Unfortunately, I'm one of the few. I was a, I was into God, so I, good, good, people good, good. thought I was high, but I, <laughs> <laughs> I think, but because I did, um, and I remember, you know, when I was, I it would take some, you know, drugs and would hallucinate and like you're seeing things and hearing things that aren't there, but I always knew that there was like a groundwork of reality. I was always knew, well, I took a drug and this is why this is happening. I never lost my mind so much that I didn't know, okay, well, there's not really things swimming around on the walls. I just am seeing that because I, you know, and I think that some people are able to hallucinate to such an extent that it all goes away. And maybe I just wasn't taking the right drugs, but I kind of feel that also with all this stuff that we're talking about, how you can have that voice in the back of your head that's like, I'm experiencing this grief, I know I'm experiencing this grief, and I'm going to consciously try to approach it in the right way. Laugh even. Yes. Um, at the door, as soon as it comes in, that's very hard. Um, but what would be, I'm still, we still have um, not too long. Thank you for this. I, I mean, that's why we're paying you big bucks for this, this unique, the biggest, the unique approach to this. So, in the, our last minute, what would be wrong with really being present, as you said, and uh, let's say it's a depression, and embracing it, 
rather than fighting it. I don't... I, I guess it's not embracing or fighting. I guess it's not accepting... It's not accepting the moment. I think that if you're embracing something and laughing at it, you're not quite accepting it. And I don't know if that's true, but that's something that I worry about in my own life because that's the way I deal with things. But I also tend to uh, deal with things by being kind of sarcastic and, and ironic and detached. Yes. And, I, and I don't know if those two things are different. Wow, uh, we're leaving you with this question. Right, because we can't... We can't but, explore it But anymore. we'll be back maybe in two weeks. We'll see. That sounds good. Thank you. Wow. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow. Blessings to everybody.